Um, okay. So now there are um, two positions that the abacus can be in. Um, one position, the position it's in now, where there are no numbers um, represented on the abacus, is called the cleared position or the zero position. All the top row at the top and then all the rest of them at the bottom. Exactly. Zero position. Mm -hmm. And then when any beads are moved to represent a number, this is called the set position. Okay. Okay. So, what can you feel and tell me what position the abacus is in now? Make sure you feel all of it. in the set position. Great. <clears throat> okay. Now it's important to um, have a good understanding of the concept of one-to-one -one correspondence. So basically each of those one beats um, you know represents an additional number for whichever um, Place value it's in. Sure. Okay. <clears throat> um, so let's let's practice that. Um, <clears throat> so set on the abacus the number of siblings you have. Just one. Great. Good job. So now you can go ahead and clear your abacus. Okay. So in between each set of three decimal points are um, place value period markers. Those are those long, exactly right where your thumb is. Those long shaped thinner ones. Can you differentiate between the two? I feel, is this it? Right exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this one goes vertical. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, so there are five place value periods and are as follows. First, on the right, we have the hundreds period. So each period consists of three columns, right? Okay, sure. So you have the ones, and then the tens, and then the hundreds, and then you have the marker. Ones, tens, hundreds, marker. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's the hundreds period. Okay. Okay, you can go ahead and repeat these after me too. And then next to the left is the thousands period. So you have the thousands ten thousands and hundred thousands. And then the thousands period. Mm -hmm. Another marker. Thousands marker. <clears throat> well those ones, I don't know, they're not exactly called like thousands marker, they're just a marker so you can okay. feel in between two of them and find. Yeah, sure. Right, so which period is that? Which one did we just talk about? The thousands. Mm -hmm. Then we have the millions period to the left of that. And there's the millions, and the ten millions, and hundred millions column. And then we so, have... Hold sorry? on, is each group of three called a period? Mm hmm Okay, got it. They're like own respective periods. Yeah, so the hundreds, sure. thousands, sure. millions. And then there's the billions. And then finally, to the extreme right, is the trillions column. Okay? Okay. Okay. Whoa. Well, Hold on. So, this there's only one trillion. Mhm. Mm okay. It only goes up to one trillion. Okay. Okay. So let's um, practice setting up to five digit numbers. Okay. So can you set um, can you set twelve for me? Twelve. Mhm. Mm that would be... So actually, we should do this together. So I'll give you an example. Hold on. Let me use my intuition here. Okay. If these are ones and these are tens, you bring this one down, I'm assuming? Mm, not exactly, because those represent the number five. And oh, so this would be 50 if I just brought exactly. this down? So then it would be five right there? Mm, no. Would it just be... Make sure in the right column. So it wouldn't be... So in the tens period, which which number? what number do you have? 
You start uh, with... 10. Sorry, that's not the right. 10. And then in the ones you have? 2. Exactly. 12. Okay. Exactly. Got it. So go ahead and clear those. Okay. So now can you set 112? 112. Well, we'd go 110, 2. 112. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Let's go ahead and clear those. Okay. Now can you set 4,000? 4,000. 500. And 500? Mm -hmm. 4,500. 4,000. Exactly. Great. <clears throat> okay, you can go ahead and clear those. So can you list each of the five place value periods for me? There's the hundreds, mm -hmm. the thousands, mm -hmm. the millions, mm -hmm. the billions, and the trillions. Great. Okay, so now we're going to do a little review of the things we've learned today. Do you remember what each part of the abacus is called? Yes. Go ahead and point to them for me as you name them. Okay. There are the columns. Mm hmm There are the beads. Mm hmm There are the metal rods. Mm hmm There are the um, decimal points. Uh-huh. And... You can go ahead and feel around and find it. Oh, the separating bar. Close separation. Separation bar. Exactly. Great. Okay. Um, and can you show me again where each period is located and what it is called, place value period? There's the hundreds, mm -hmm. the thousands, mm -hmm. the um, millions, mm -hmm. the billions, and the trillions. Is it trillions mm -hmm. or trillion? Well, just it's just, trillions. yeah, just, it's just trillion because it's just one column. Okay. Okay. And then one more review. Can you show me a set position on the abacus? Well, sure. Here's a set position. Yep. And then can you show me a cleared position? Here's a clear or zero position. Awesome. You did so great, Jackson. So congratulations. You made it through your first lesson on the use of the Cranmer abacus. Today we learned the various components of the abacus, its place value periods, the two positions of the abacus, and how to set and clear numbers on the abacus, and how to locate the center column. We also learned don't take this off. We also learned why it is important for you to have these skills. You need them in order to be successful in all of your math classes from here on, without the use of only mental math or talking calculators. That is a lot of learning you did. Fantastic job. Make sure you practice all the skills you learned today, because next time we will be learning how to do addition. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you. You're welcome. Can I take it off? Yeah.